Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's ask the question and try to answer the question, why do we see colors? Why do objects have different colors? What is it about objects where one looks green, the other one looks blue, another one looks yellow? Hmm, well, let's talk about it. So light, of course, comes from the sun. Of course, we can also artificially make light with light bulbs, but most of the light that we have during the daytime comes from the sun, and it contains all the various colors of the rainbow. I don't have a yellow pen, so I used a little dashed orange to represent yellow. Notice that red light has longer wavelengths, purple light has shorter wavelengths, and the others are in between. Longer wavelengths means lower frequency, Shorter wavelengths means higher frequency, so the light comes in with different frequencies. Together, all the colors together form white light. Now, that light will hit an object, and an object is made out of atoms, and atoms are constantly vibrating. The warmer the object, the faster they're vibrating. The colder the object, the slower they're vibrating. And the vibration of the atoms, well, that depends upon each individual material different elements, different compounds, different things that are made. Well, they all, the atoms all vibrate at slightly different frequencies. And so those become what we call quantum oscillators. And those vibrating atoms can only absorb particular frequencies. Now, of course, in a particular material, we could have lots of different kinds of atoms. And so together, they can absorb a lot of different colors or only a few different colors depending upon the makeup of the material. And so the incoming light will do one of three things. Either it is reflected or scattered. So in some cases it's not absorbed at all because the frequencies don't match. They're simply bounced off, either reflected like from a mirror or scattered in all directions from typically every other object. Or the light is transmitted. Sometimes the light goes right through. Like with water, most of the light goes through. With glass, most of the light goes through. Or it is absorbed. And that happens with a lot of materials. Part of the light is typically absorbed. And when it gets absorbed, because the frequency of the light matches the frequency of the vibration of the material, it will get absorbed and then the vibrations become more violent and then the object will heat up. We know that when you put things in the sun, they become warm because they absorb the light from the sun. But if they don't absorb all the light, then what will happen is the light that does not get absorbed and the light that doesn't get transmitted will then get reflected or scattered back. And sometimes it's a singular color or a combination of colors that look like a particular color when they're combined. So let's say that in this example, only the green photons are reflected. Well, that object will then look green. If only the blue light is reflected, then we'll see blue if all the other colors are absorbed. So the color that we see is the color that was not absorbed, the color of the light that hits the object that is simply reflected or scattered back, or the combination of light that's scattered back. Now, when an object appears white, well, that means that they reflect just about all of the photons, or most of the photons, because all the photons combined from sunlight form white light. If an object appears black, well, then almost all the light is absorbed and virtually none of it is reflected back. And that's why an object looks back, black because we don't see any light coming from it or very little light coming from it. You also notice that if you put a, a dark or a black object on the sun, like you have a car with black vinyl seats in the sun, they get hot, really hot, really fast as sunlight hits them because, again, they absorb much more of the light and they heat up much more than objects that are lighter in color. So it's maybe not a good idea if you live in a place where there's a lot of sun to have black seats. If you see a chair outside that is black, you don't want to sit on it in the sun because you know it's going to be very hot. So that's how we see color. Color is simply a result of light hitting an object. Some colors being absorbed because the, the, the vibration frequencies of the atoms in the object match the vibrational frequencies of the light, so they get absorbed. Those that do not match get reflected back, and those are the colors then that we see. It's quite simple, quite remarkable, but that's why so many objects have so many different colors, simply because the kind of photons they absorb and the kind of photons they reflect back. And that is how it works.